Oh, Willie Abrupt Cliffs. So we're out on the, the Cape track at the moment, but we have Willie Abrupt Cliffs behind us. Um, yeah, it's a pretty special spot for us, this one. This is, uh, I proposed to my wife just down over on those cliffs uh, several years ago. Um, but this is just one of my favorite little sections of the Cape track, just a really dramatic coastline. You can see whales going past. Uh, we've seen 10, 20 whales a day at the moment. Dolphins launching out of the waves. Yeah, and just wildflowers everywhere. I love that whole small town country feel. I love going to the shop, it takes you like 15 minutes to buy a loaf of bread because you've got to talk to everyone. There's always something going on, um, but every day you kind of get to know the different birds, the different animals that live around here. Um, yeah. Without a doubt, the coolest thing we've seen out here was um, well, several years ago, a mate of mine who on the helicopter business were flying over here, we're doing some coastal photos. And as we come in just around the, the uh, Willie Abrupt Beach, just to the, to the north, uh, we look down, there's a big southern right whale giving birth. Some days we had two big blue whales go past a couple of years ago. I suppose it's a bit of a nature paradise out around this way. We've got a couple of resident kangaroos, Bruce the big uh, boomer we see through uh, quite regularly through here. Bruce has a very good tendency of popping up uh, for some rather impressive selfie moments. Um, photo bombing, I suppose, is a better, better term for it. Uh, yeah, he just moves up and down through this Cape region. Like most of the animals through here, you start to get to know who's who. There's a pot of dolphins that move up and down every day that we get pretty used to where they're going to jump out of the waves. How does Bruce appear in a photo? It's just pure pure good luck. We're probably usually setting up for something and he might be lurking behind a bush and up he pops and um, he surprises me as much as the guests some days. I think he's trying to, Bruce is trying to get featured on the Australia Facebook page is what I suspect. Um, I, I would I would like Bruce to keep making those guest appearances because we have a bit of a, a track record of getting these photos that go all around the world sometimes. So. Um, yeah, he's, he's getting closer and closer to a main feature on Australia page, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, he's a, he's a celebrity kangaroo of Margaret River. But I have to tell you, Bruce has got a bit of a, a male companion out here that I, I I don't want to go too far in saying what's going on there, but they seem to hang out a lot together. Uh, and I never see any female kangaroos out here, so yeah. Why do I come back to the cliffs? Oh, it's just such a special spot for me. I mean, I've hiked the Cape to Cape track a couple of times. Uh, there's loads of great places on the Cape track. Uh, but this one, yeah, I just think the, the drama of the cliffs and the beaches and um, just the ability to look over the ocean and see all those whales going by. Uh, some amazing wildflower displays through springtime. You know, a lot of people love the whole big bus tour thing from winery to winery to winery. And there's, you know, loads of people love that. but. I could also see that people wanted to connect a bit more with the environment. So yeah, we go canoeing at the start of the day, pick up on the, the wine at a private wine estate, and this is kind of the aha moment at the end of the day out on the cliffs. This is, I don't think you could really call it a job really, it's like going out and have a bit of fun every day with a bunch of mates. The conversations we have just remarkable, remarkable, I love it. My name's Sean Blockage, I'm the owner and operator of uh, Margaret River Discovery Company.